Marrakesh, the first official African capital of culture, is a whirlwind of excitement and activity, filled with wonderful cuisine and a very real sense of significance. Marrakesh is one of the most exciting and enticing places on the earth that everyone wants to visit. The best thing to do in Marrakesh could only be discovered upon arrival. These locations must be considered. The view of the sunset from the restaurant's rooftop and the museum visit merit our attention and valuable time. In this video, we'll tell you about the top 10 places to visit in Marrakesh. 1. Souk Semarine Souk Semarine is the most famous of Marrakesh's souks, markets, which are renowned in the city. Rugs, leather products, silverware and dinnerware are identical to their ancestry. Whoever visiting that location must buy, even if they cannot afford a necklace, because they can find every kind and amazing work of art in all shapes and forms. The ideal experience you can have is if you engage a local dealer who can advise you on prevailing trends and negotiation strategies so you can acquire a great deal for a low cost. 2. Gemma El Fana After Dark The center of Marrakesh's life at the gateway of the Medina is the large square which is the center of public attraction. Gemma El Fana is the place of assembly of all the vibrant musicians, fortune tellers, and monkeys performing feats attracting a huge crowd towards him. The activities prolonged the whole night and the entertainment ends at midnight when all crowd as well as the stall owners return home. The exuberant atmosphere came to an end with the closure of the market. At the time of sunrise, the rooftop gives an eye-catching view with a cheap meal that attracts almost every growling stomach and the aroma of sizzling kebab prevails in the air. 3. The Ketubia Mosque with a 70-meter tall tower that may be seen from miles away, this mosque is the most recognizable and well-known landmark in the area. According to folklore, the muezzin who recited the yazan had to be blind because the tower was situated at a height from which anybody could see the ruler's harem. It is regarded the most exquisite Almohad architectural masterpiece. It was destroyed and then rebuilt with the existing mosque. Non-Muslims are not permitted inside this mosque. 4. Stroll Around Majorel Gardens the lush green cactus, palms, and ferns show the artwork of skilled painter Jacques Majorelle. He came from a small town of Nancy in France for some health issues but soon became well known through his marvelous paintings in his Moroccan life. After the death of a well-renowned painter, the French designer bought his property upon his death. His ashes were scattered in the garden. Now the ground became a new home to a fabulous museum where the one who has the craze for painting gave a visit to pay a tribute and to enhance their knowledge of painting. 5. El Badi Palace the epic, once the Grand Palace of Al-Mansur, is the most significant site to visit. The Sadian ruler built this opulent palace with sunken gardens with reflective pools during its triumphant years but was later destroyed when it was occupied. Now the sparse vegetation ruined walls and walls struck from every corner, and the only living creature which could be seen is the nest of storks. Alongside the palace is the old Jewish headquarters which is now the residence of densely populated Muslims and this has been restored so it can be visited. Six. Hot Air Balloon Ride Over the Marrakesh Countryside Several tourists survived to take a hot air balloon ride that offers a breathtaking picture of a parched plateau below and a clear vast sky above. The palm groves are especially appealing to photographers interested in capturing a worthwhile sunset. This involves an hourly flight with practically everyone holding a picnic basket filled with snacks to satisfy their hunger. Those who afford it typically take a camel ride or a bike excursion, or they can even take their own private balloon. Seven. Cycle or horse ride in the Palmeray. The Palm Groves area is just to the northwest of the city. Around 50,000 trees have been planted in the hub of luxurious hotels that can become the center of attraction for those who admired the natural greenery and especially for those who are interested in photography. Families can go for a picnic and can enjoy a day out and can spend quality time together. They can enjoy the serene atmosphere and the tranquility of the shady trees can attract the people who get exhausted due to the hectic routine and come here to refresh their minds and souls. 8. Atelier Dyer Hands-on workshops with Marrakesh Malams, master craftsmen. You can start a course where you will learn how to do pottery, as well as how to make famous delectable dishes whom this city is famous for. It's an opportunity to meet with famous artists and can learn from their skills, which they can use later in their lives can provide them with a chance to earn their living. Moreover, it can also polish their hidden talent, which they didn't know before. 9. Souk Cuisine Souk Cuisine puts on cookery classes with a twist. The day starts with an official visit to the souk where you can get the ingredients needed. Then the desired food you want to cook could be made with the help of local women as the city is well known for its hospitality. Food is considered a huge part of Moroccan culture and is renowned for its traditions. Try to visit the most recommended restaurant where you can get their most famous dishes and can get a chance to taste them. 10. 
Visit Darcy Said. The old palace built by Vizier C. Said is home to a wonderful collection of barber jewelry in finely worked silver and embroidery done with leather and marble. Furthermore, there is a display of Moroccan carpets and rugs along with the window frames showing the architectural mind of the people. It also has a wonderful collection of costumes and musical instruments that has been put together by a Dutch art historian. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon with the next video. Thank you so much for watching.